Sun is out Ooh, for the first time in I don't know four months. Today is the day the six pot goes in the compact. Jack's here. Yes. <laughs> Hello. The boys are coming around in a bit, but basically me and Jack are just gonna get started. If you didn't watch the last video, basically we got the engine fully prepped. Well, pretty much fully prepped. We've done loads of gaskets, loads of seals, new thermostat, new water pump, um, belts back on, boxes back on. We're ready. Yeah. Let's go then! Oh my god, I'm fucking excited. Jack, we're up and sweet! Job. Six pot is in. See that? That nut on the engine mount. And that one. Alright, now about a few hours of figuring uh, stuff out. Yeah. What's first? Uh, we do gearbox mounts. Prop. Uh, prop. Yeah. Cool. Up then? Yes. The combo. Also, we found these at the. Um, Garage. White fudge coated pretzels. Tastes better than you'd think. Oh my god, it's probably the best tasting thing I've ever had. That one? I did order poly engine mounts and poly gearbox mounts about a week ago and they still haven't even been shipped. And I can't, I'm, in I'm too impatient, so we're gonna, <laughs> we're just gonna put them on shitty mounts and then uh, when they arrive, we'll swap them over. I don't think there's anything more rewarding for a man than six pot swapping. A BMW. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. Used to be candy builder shed, now it's candy six pot beer. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> cool. Oh yes! <laughs> Get the fuck in there! Yeah. <clears throat> Can you guide me in? Is that in? Yeah, you're in. Cool. Back down. This is not very fun to do. Sick. Nice. Prop's gonna be a bit of a bitch, so we're gonna time lapse it. have our first issue. First issue is, this is the prop donut. That's from the compact gearbox, that's from the coupe, the ZF gearbox. So, they don't line up, that's much bigger. So we might have to steal the front half of that prop and put it in this. This, currently, does not fit in the back of this gearbox. All right, coupe is on the lift, compact's outside. I was gonna do it on uh, axle stands and the jack, but then I thought, you know what, I've got a lift, so why the fuck not? So, this is what we're stealing. Oh, that came right out. Easy money. Can you um, just back that off a little bit, Jack? Or just give us a tug? Oh, lovely. So hopefully, this front half of the prop is all we need. If anyone's got one for sale, one of these, for a ZF gearbox, let me know because I will need one for the coupe. Please and thank you, and kisses, hugs and kisses. Get some free nuts as well if you send it to us. I'll save some. Peanuts? Yeah, I'll give you saves. They're large, roasted, salted peanuts. Thanks, Jack. That's all right. Right, 
we have the prop that should work. So, let's get it in. Right, this is a big moment. We're about to do up the prop bolts. That means the drivetrain will actually be hooked up. Ready? Yeah. That is the prop done. Give her a spin for me. We're hooked up. So we've done the prop. Have you done fuel lines? I've done fuel lines. So fuel's connected, props connected. Um, in this box we have my ECU, and I had to get it sent off um, because. Explain to these lovely people what EWS is. Oh, it's basically uh, the immobiliser. Pretty much one of the only ways you can do a swap is if you map out EWS on your ECU, right? Yeah. There's other complicated ways in there. But yeah, uh, but that's just easiest. We got a comment on our um, our channel the other day from these blokes. These are some Welsh boys from Wales, obviously, and they do a bunch of E36 stuff. And basically they hit me up on my last YouTube video and said, do you want us to help you out with your ECU? Um, and obviously I needed it, so they... Um, I sent them my ECU. They mapped out EWS, they mapped in my M50 manifold, and they've done a hard cut limiter, <laughs> raised limiter as well. They turned that around in two days for me and got it back to me, and I'm impatient, so that was uh, very nice of them. So shout out to Garage36. They also have a YouTube channel if you want to check that out. He's doing a V8 build at the moment and a stroker build? Oh, I did see something like that. If you want to watch some more E36 stuff when you're finished, then there is a link in the description for his channel. Um, but yeah, thank you very much for mapping my ECU. We couldn't have done it without you, so, legends. Big flex. Here he is, serviceman Andy. Bringing the goods. Leave it here. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, we got gearbox fluid, and we got some coolant. Yeah, it's sick. <laughs> yeah, it does, doesn't it? It's starting a while. Yeah. What are you running, without oil as well? Uh -oh. <laughs> Beauty. That's the new home. That's it. Living there forever. Come on. So I crash into a wall at Birmingham. Oh yeah. I just realised I haven't done the last two giveaways. I forgot to film one. I was getting a bit carried away with the engine. This is the winner from last week. This is the winner from the week before. And this week, if you want to win a bold tee, just one of these nice summer t-shirt, they come in black or white. All you gotta do is drop a comment down below. Let us know if you're liking the videos, if you're liking this compact swap, just comment anything and I'll pick up winner at random. It's super fun reading through all your comments and it's nice to hear from you guys, so uh, just comment anything down below and you'll win a t-shirt. I'll pick it next week. Thank you. Let's see if this engine starts. Are we actually near that point then? We are? Yeah, but it's, it will also show if we've forgotten anything. We need oil. We don't need coolant. Not yet. Let's yep. just see if it starts. No. Fucking hell, let's go. About 149 yards, one of those. Nah, she's terrible as well. <gasps> You can see that. <laughs> oh, no. Ready? Oh, hell yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Let's see what we haven't done properly then. I'm nervous. I am as well. Are you? I don't think we'll start. Yeah. I don't think it will. I don't be really pessimistic, but... No, it's de it definitely won't start. Been too quick. Who's got the honours of the kit? You. Yeah? Yeah. Is there even lights on the dash? No. Right. First problem. First problem. <laughs> Nada. Right. Yeah, Earths. Ricky's just reminded me that goes into there. You fucking donut. You fucking donut. Come on, Rick. Saving the day. They call you Tricky Ricky, so you know your little tricks, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> 12. Right. 11. 10. 04! 04! 04 tax? 03. 03 tax disc. Yeah. That is amazing. <gasps> try, just try it. Go. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. That's just flat. It's not flat. 
Yeah, it is. It's not. Yeah, it is. That's not. That's a fucking tiny battery. Surely that'd be not big enough to get this going. That came out of this. Battery's flat. It ain't flat. Do it again, man. It came out of that a week ago, and it's been sat on trickle charge. Right, we've got a bigger battery from what? next door. You ready? I'm ready. Nah, it ain't the battery. Right, we're gonna try cleaning earth, see if that happens. And then if not, then, um... We've got a problem. That's not funny. All right, uh, update. It's supposed to bridge some wires with the EWS as well. So that's just the immobilizer, so. We're gonna try bridge some wires with the EWS. <laughs> that does sound like an immobilizer. And hopefully it should work. So, guys, hi, welcome to Andy's Vlogs. I'm here today with a BMW E36 Compact, and I'm going to be doing the EWS mod. <laughs> where I splice the two wires together and bridge it, meaning that you, at home, can do this, and you can start your six pot with an EWS delete. ECU. <laughs> Simple thing that everyone forgets about. Common fault. Um, but now I'm here, I've told the boys how to do it, and... Uh, they're absolutely buzzing and we're about to start this compact now. So, can we have a 10mm socket please? Get us a 10mm socket, you cunt bag. You can just cut the wires as they go into the plug and join them together. Yeah, why not today? I see it far. Shout out to matey boy. Cheers matey boy. I reckon I can actually see the outline of your balls. Still got massive nuts. <laughs> Green and black, black and yellow. Let me just find out. Three. No, wait, wait, wait! <laughs> Green and black. And then a yellow and black. Yeah, that's it. Just repeat what I said. Yeah, I was just confirming. Don't do that. <laughs> I've snapped your scissors off. Oh, then my good IKEA scissors as well. Did it again. <laughs> <laughs> that is the worst part I've ever heard in my life. I think I've shit myself. <laughs> I think I've shit myself. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I've hotboxed it in here. Now. That stinks. Oh my god, that's right in it. Oh. I actually reckon this is it. You reckon? Yeah. If Andy's got the right cables. I'm very confident. We're trusting him here. Yeah, I know. Hey, if Andy can wire in three phase, <laughs> you can bridge two wires, can't you? Hi guys, back again. And, um, <laughs> yeah, just under the dash of this E36 compact that I'm working on at the moment. As you can see there, I've snipped those two wires and taped them together. That's what you want to do. And, uh, if you want me to come to your house and buy your E36 compact in, I usually charge £36 for this service. £36, and I'll do the old swap. <laughs> <laughs> Go. Yeah. <gasps> what just fell down there? Why is there so much metal? Like metal chains just falling out of the front. Yeah. yeah. Oh. So stiff, man. What could that be? What? Wrong part, wasn't it? Alright. We figured it out. So it was churning metal when we turned it over. And what it is, we figured it out. Because I removed the AC. Fresh. To be yeah. fair, Ricky clocked this, didn't you, Rick? Smart, smart boy, Rick. <laughs> no, I taught Rick everything he knows. Basically, these bolts were going through there. But they're used to having that on it as well. So the bolts are too long, and they're rubbing on the back of the Cut crank. Up. Wash of the bolts. Yeah, just wash the bolts, Jack. Yeah. <laughs> I'm excited now. <laughs> That's why we're done with it. What's that? Bolts would have worn away every turn. <laughs> oh, oh, God. <laughs> All right, so far we've had the prop go wrong, we've had the EWS go wrong, and we've had crank pulley bolts too long. So we're through for three now, this should start. We'll this put the front end back together, and we'll start again. Do you reckon that's it? <laughs> Do you reckon that's it for the last four times? So. <laughs> yeah. Now this is this is third time, fourth time lucky now. We've Good. had the three bad ones. Ready? Yeah. Fingers crossed, Ready? Wait, that fucking is that fine right now? Actually, it's quite low no wires. Fingers crossed. Yeah. Go. <laughs> I'm 
That's mint. Let's go around the car. Nice. Nice. Cool, cool, nice. Yeah, dog. That's it. Oh, yeah. Lovely job. Oh, <laughs> Alright, this is Jack's new um, E36 that we got the other night. We slammed it on coilovers last night. It's a two litre auto, six pot, but still very cool. So, I've taken the um, cat back off. We're gonna try and get this system on. Jack is doing, cable. doing the throttle cable because it's different on four pots. Uh, yeah, I believe so. Have you gone through the bulkhead? Yeah. Lovely job. We want to take it for a rip around the block. So, we need coolant, we need a clutch, and we're gonna put the exhaust on, and that's it. So, let's go. Start up and see how loud it is. Yeah, fuck it. That's way better. There you go, now you gotta start it <laughs> and you'll just drive. And put, make sure you throttle. Ready? Go on. That's it. So if you didn't get that, we have no clutch. So we're just trying to sort that out. I just started it in first gear. <laughs> there it is then. Okay. <laughs> there is the first engine swap I've ever done. Cheers for your help, boys. What's your first impression of it? It seemed quick. <laughs> like considering it's the same motor that came out of the coupe, that seems way quicker. Maybe I'm just used to the Lexus, which is slow, but that felt mint. Looks mint as well, doesn't it? Yeah, it's mapped as well now. Yeah, it is mapped, true. We're gonna come back tomorrow in the next video and we're gonna piece this all back together, get it actually a running and driving car and um, make it actually look legit. Drop a comment down below and you'll win that t-shirt. Cheers, Jack, for your help. Oh, Legends. Right. Cheers, Andy. Cheers, Ricky. Cheers, Stu. Cheers, Garage 36. That actually went very smooth, didn't it? <laughs> yeah. Like, I'm actually surprised. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Bye, everyone. Bye. Sound.